We are in Hawaii. <laughs> and On our previous adventure vlog, we shared with you our crazy antics on the island of Holbosch. After we caught the ferry out of Holbosch, we took a bus straight to Valladolid. Here's where we pick up. After a long bus ride, we arrived in Valladolid and were absolutely famished. We checked into our hostel and went exploring. We found our way over to this neat cafe with a beautiful garden area and had some delicious sweets. Later on that evening, we actually took a salsa lesson on the roof of our hostel with the hosts and a few of the backpackers who were staying there. Once we were done with that, we headed back out and saw this cool light show that was at this 450 year old convent. They projected a movie with the story of the city, which was a lot of fun. After the show was done, we actually made our way out again to the centro of Valladolid, and then finally we called it a night. It's time to wash again. So we have our clothes laid out and we're sorting through them because we did the whole. <laughs> Can you give a real Violet 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 So it's been. We washed in Vegas when we dropped the van off. We went to Holbosch. Now we are in Violet And we have been washed in. Two weeks. Two weeks. But when you have like. A little bit of clothes, like a little bit of clothes you need to wash. So we found a lavenderia that's down the street that we're going to go drop our clothes off and then get some ice cream and potentially go to the pool tonight. John definitely got a bird just doodled on John. Twice. Twice. Boom. Boom. In the middle of the park. Thanks. Sitting on the bench. Thanks. The birds are straight doo-dooed on them. At least we have How, Is it warm? No, it's cold. It's cold? It's cold. <laughs> Baby Bear and I are on our walk to get some Burger King. We have been in Valladolid for a few days now. And I've had good food every meal, really. Mostly every meal has been good food. Mm -hmm. Um, and they have good food here, but we just wanted something. I wanted something familiar. Familiar. So, to Burger King we go. And then we go pick up our laundry once we're done. Yeah. We just got back with our clothes. We left Burger King and essentially walked straight over to the Lavenderia to pick up our clothes that we told y'all that we were gonna drop off. And we were trying to figure out a better system um, to like make sure we get all our clothes back because the last time we got our clothes washed, John was actually missing a shirt and we were meant like we recognized I feel like the day or the day after but we forgot to go back to them and be like hey y'all didn't pack our this we remembered we did remember so uh moving forward when we go drop our clothes off to be clean we're just gonna count the items just to make sure we get back the same amount of items that we um take to get washed so hopefully everything smells good so let's rip this thing open and see how it's smelling <laughs> Remember to check the description box, not only for our accommodations and the restaurants we ate at, but also travel things that we got, shades, clothes, shoes, you name it. Ended up being like five and a half dollars for 12, 13 pounds of clothes. Yeah, so. and when we washed our clothes in Vegas, I feel our sales, I feel like we spent comparable because we had to pay for the detergent, we had to pay for the washer, and mm -hmm. we had to pay for the dryer. The dryer. Yeah, so it, it's cost about the same if we were to do it ourselves. You know? Uh-huh. I'm trying to do this neatly, but then it comes on unfolded if you get it out of, out of there. It smells good. 
better than the last time? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It smells really good. Yeah, yeah. I liked it. <laughs> Sorry. I liked the detergent they used. Yeah. Okay. Let's check and make sure everything, or I'm going to check and make sure all my stuff is here. Okay. So that is enough ripping and running for today. But before Janae and I get too comfortable in this pool, we need to take a Spanish class. Which brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Langota. As we've been traveling through Mexico, Janae and I have been so excited to continue to learn Spanish and engage in day-to-day -day conversations. But it's a big goal for both of us to become polyglots and know many languages. And Spanish is the first on our list. While we've been able to learn in person, we've also made it a priority to take organized classes, and thankfully we found Lingoda, which is an online language learning school that enables you to learn a new language from the comfort of your home. You're able to take live classes online and at your convenience 24-7. The classes are intimate and immersive with only a few students per class and a native speaking teacher. Grupo de música, pero ultimamente no puedo ir a los ensayos porque no tengo mucho tiempo. With Lingoda, you can learn Spanish, German, French, or English if you don't know English already. Classes are offered 24-7, so it's super convenient. Right now it's nighttime, but I'm gonna hop on here and there's gonna be classes available at my language level. Jimmy and John took the same class. We've had him three times. He's so funny, um, and I love, he, he switches from English to Spanish enough for us to learn Spanish, but understand what's going on in English. Obviously, Janae and I are learning a good bit while we're here in Mexico, boots on the ground, and just talking to the locals who have all been amazing, uh, just working with us and being patient while we uh, struggle our way through. If you have a goal for 2022, if one of your things in the new year is wanting to take your creative energies into learning a new language, I'm excited to announce that Lingoda is offering another sprint promotion coming up here in the first few months of the year. The sprints are actually how Janae and I got started with Lingoda. They're uh, intensive courses where you can take 15 or 30 classes a month for a couple months. You can use our code Janae2022 for your sign up and get $25 off your deposit. And then on top of that, if you follow the rules, you get 50 or 100% of your money back, depending on whether you take the sprint or the super sprint. Let's get this done. While we were hanging out in the pool relaxing, something caught my attention out of the corner of my eye. I thought it might have been a lizard or a rat at first, but actually it turned out to be a baby possum. Janae and I laughed about it while Janae really tried to keep her distance as it hung out for a few more minutes before wandering back off into the night. If you would like to help us in making consistent and higher quality videos, consider joining our Patreon. We have a current goal of hitting 100 Patreon members. 
You can support our vision for as low as $2 a month and get access to exclusive videos as well as bloopers and outtakes that don't make the vlogs. I let John have some of my mangoes. And he's like, I'm done. And I look at that seed and I said, the disrespect. I said, if you don't clean that seed. And so, <laughs> and so he's, it's looking so much better, baby. Look, I'm so proud of you. I didn't Cleaning, even know. Cleaning that mango seed like this. Yeah. You got me looking foolish on camera. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm looking real educated and culture. You should show my toast as well. Oh, no. no they ain't ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast time. Got the pool this morning. Had me some mango as well. A nice cup of green tea. I didn't chew on it so hard I busted the seed over. I'm working for it. It's so pretty. It was like all yellow. Now you can actually see the white of the seed. Mm. Out of everything we loved about our hostel, the pool was at or near the top of the list. When we were in Playa del Carmen and Cancun and Holbosch, we mostly didn't have a pool to hang out in. So when we got to buy the lead and had one, we absolutely made the most use of it. Whether we were coming back from a workout and just wanted to take a dip to cool off, or we were jumping in after breakfast, or just taking a break in the middle of the day, we had our fill of this pool. It was such a calming and fun release for us. We would just hang out and play and swim laps or sit there and relax. Our hostel was in the perfect location, just right around the corner from the most beautiful street in Valladolid. And it was packed full of restaurants. And our favorite one was this amazing vegan spot with these great juices, delicious beet burgers, and falafel dishes. We went there so many times. The food was phenomenal, y'all. This video's new subby shoutouts go out to Sandronetta, Alicia, and Dev. If you want to be featured in a future video's new subby shout out, hop down in the comments and let us know you're new to the tribe. While we were in Valladolid, we made it a priority to find a nearby gym so that we could continue on our healing journeys and our muscle building journeys. This gym had everything we needed and it was right across the street from a stable. So we could watch the horses while we did our cardio and sometimes there were even iguanas hanging out as well. Go, go, do your thug dizzle, do your thug dizzle, kiss it, kiss it, go lazy, go lazy. Go lazy, go lazy, go li- The owner of our hostel made sure that there was always something going on in the building so that everyone's stay there was a really fun experience. There were those salsa lessons that we had on the roof, trivia nights, and on one of the last nights we were there, there was a Mayan cooking class out by the pool with a local lady with Mayan heritage. She taught us how to make corn tortillas and cook them and how to make a few different Mayan sauces and she also cooked up some traditional Valladolid sausage. <laughs>
adventure vlog, we explore Merida, the capital of Yucatan and the biggest city we've been to in Mexico so far. We made some amazing friends, got back used to big city living, and finally got to catch up on a few movies that we've been waiting to see for a month. We just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. We have a goal of 100 patrons, and we appreciate your support so much. It enables us to upgrade our equipment to produce more and better quality content. So thank you. Until next video, be blessed. Thank you.